Hello everyone and welcome back to the awesome goalkeeper. Today we are going to be doing a new career mode being Bristol Rovers, obviously based in Bristol and we are going to be trying to win the Champions League with them. We're obviously going to be on ultimate mode, I have got better. <laughs> so now that I'm actually better at it I can play competitive mode and everything. So this is all post commentary but you can see here that we found a really good centre mid and I can already tell that he is going to be our starter. So, Zhao Quinn Sepulveda, he is going to be promoted now, I believe. Yes, we're going to promote him to the team. And then we're going to have a look at our other players. Tom Kelly looks all right. Kluchik doesn't look good at all. And then neither does Eggenberger, even though he's probably got the best name I've ever seen a <laughs> player to have. So, we can see that Sepulveda is obviously better than McCormick. So, he can go straight into our lineup. Very happy to finally get a decent person in my youth academy because I don't think I've ever had that before. So that I've always had to find them from the country I've sent my scouts to, never actually finding them in the academy I have. But I'm just sorting out the team here. You can see I'm just checking the ages out. So we definitely need to improve on some places being our left wing, our right wing. And our left winger currently, Hanlon, is actually a striker. So he will probably be moved to striker and then Ayunga won't be here. Otsuma is currently on loan, and if he plays well, I will be interested in making him a permanent deal. But he can go in ahead of Upson, and then I can just change Upson's position to being a cam, which you can see here. So, just whilst I'm doing this, just to clear all of this up, this will be running alongside Sheffield Wednesday. That's not gone yet. Even I always say that when I start something new. Wolfsburg just didn't work. I didn't enjoy it as much. So, that's why I'm doing a different one to replace that. But here you can see I've used all the money really we've got. I have sold some players, some like Deadwood players that we won't need. And I've used them to buy these scouts. So I still have a decent amount of money to um, sign some players with. So here's our first one, Morgan Rogers. I'm very interested in him. He's a left winger, right winger and striker. He's from England, which is good. And he plays for Lincoln City. So it's quite a realistic transfer. So you can see he's worth 1.6 million. And that is probably what I'm going to offer, maybe a little bit more. But we have fully negotiated his deal and Morgan Rogers is in. And we started our first game off with a goal. So this is sort of how it will be rolling like this. But yeah, we started off our first game. We played the pre-season just so I could get used to the team. It's a great through ball in and it's just an easy slot away into the far corner. And we scored a second one. It was a great goal from Otsuma. And, I mean, look at that for a finish, just curling it, bang into the top corner. It's a great goal, especially for a 67 rated cam, and we jumped to the sim, and we ended up winning 2-0. Here is a goal, I believe this is the first game, but, I mean, look at how it comes off the post, desperately unlucky. But we do bag our first goal from this corner. We always ahead of it down into the goal. It's a really nice goal to score against Doncaster. I can't, um, I completely forgot to show you guys the fixtures that we're going to have, obviously our managers with blue hair, but I mean, Otsuma scores a goal, but he's offside, which is a shame. But look at this for a finish. Top corner, a beautiful goal against Doncaster to make it to before half time. Otsuma again. I definitely want to make this a permanent deal. So that is probably what I'll do after this game or the next game. I'll try and get him on a permanent. I'll also get a um, a trophy because on PlayStation, I don't know whether Xbox have it, you probably do trophies to complete in the game. And one of them is One of Us, One of Us, where you make a loan deal permanent. And I've never done that before. I've always signed them when they've gone back to their club. But I'm probably going to do it with Oztuma. It's actually Oztuma, not Oztuma. But we can see here the goalkeeper... Makes a good save as we're desperately trying to get another goal, trying to make it three. <clears throat> That's a good ball over for Doncaster as they're coming in. But it's a nice block by Williams twice, who's actually played a really good game, if I remember correctly, today. And Jakula only just gets the ball away from there, which is very, very lucky. We are also obviously going to be in the Carabao Cup. That will be coming up by the next or... The game after. We whip around the back post. And we smash the crossbar. How close can we come? But we're able to keep the ball. We keep trying. To find that opening. 
to try and find that goal, but we give it away. And we jumped to Sim as a 2 0 win. The problem with jumping to Sims is that it sims the whole game again and just adds on whatever that score line would be. So we do lose lots and lots of stamina, which isn't good at all. <clears throat> we have our scout report and we found Ewan Hayward. So obviously we're going to get, get this man a development plan because he needs it. He can definitely probably be one of our starters and he's only 15 as well. But what I'm looking at is his potential could be a minimum of like 61. So I really don't want him to drop to that because I don't really want him to hit that 91 potential. Uh, Seppel Vader, I changed the position to a cam and he grew from a 63 to a 65, which is great news. And Otsuma plays better like a right wing. So I will change his position and I believe I have done that. We went into our next game against Northampton and we found a good ball down to Rogers, who was playing his only second game for us in League One. <clears throat> And we find the goal. It was Westbrook with the finish. Going absolutely crazy 13 minutes in. And it was a very nice goal to score. One that I definitely wanted. Uh, I guess we'll see the replay here. So it would just be easier for me to be doing all of this post commentary. Just because obviously it's harder for me to edit when I've got to do it all in little snippets and stuff. So it's easier just to put all of the videos compiled and then just go to it all in one of me just speaking into my phone and then pop it on at the top. And we can see our blue haired manager. Let me know if you like him blue haired or not. But here Northampton were able to get one back with the header goal going past. Uh, I believe I played Day in this game. And the header got past him. He reached up, tried to make the save and he couldn't. And very unfortunately, we can see our blue head manager is gutted. But in the 26th minute, we were able to bag another goal, which is what was needed. We played it through nice and calmly and slotted that with a superb finish into the far side of the goal. Very impressed with Hanlon. He could definitely play for us in the Championship. Premier League would be pushing it. I feel like I will need to send another player. But he's only 23 years old, 22 years old. So I should be able to easily... Um, growing well. Northampton got onto the attack again. They still pass me, but oh, it was Jacola on goal. Jacola's able to make the save, and at half time, it's 3 1. And I think this is the goal because I forgot to show it. Yeah, it's a good ball down. Pass it in. Don't ask me what that defender was doing, but I don't care. We managed to grab the goal. Northampton looking to make it 3 2, trying to get back onto level terms with the whip in. We header it back, but only to him with the perfect scissor kick. But Hosmos hits it wide, something that he wouldn't have hoped to do. And we just cut in. Perfect goal into the bottom corner. We make it 4-1 in the 52nd minute. I don't see Doncaster coming back from this. So Bristol Rovers are able to pick up the three points. It's Northampton away from home. And that's very snazzy from Hanlon to get his brace. A good whip into the far corner. The keeper has no chance from there. In fact, if you were to shoot it just above him, he probably had no chance from there. And you can see we're going to jump to Sim and we get that 4-1 win, which is what we were aiming for. And our next game will be up against Huddersfield. And I'll show you the goal that we scored to kick off about, I'd say about 20 minutes into the game. So... I mean, look at this. He just flicks it back for the volley. It's a perfect goal. But Bristol, Bristol Rovers, Huddersfield were able to get one back, which was very unfortunate. La La is able to bag them a goal. And it's from the corner. It's played in. Just gets past my defender easily. And what a finish from the AI. This is what I mean. We're playing on ultimate confessor mode. These are going to be the sorts of goals that the AI are going to pull out. It's whipped round and into that top corner. My goalkeeper comes near enough, but no chance. Keep an eye on Luhi though, because all I'm going to say is he had a great game. But Hanlon is able to bag our second. This is in the Cowbell Cup, and it's from the penalty spot. It was a handball from Huddersfield, and we just slot it down the middle. Schofield in net, probably Phillips' son. He's able to bag a goal for us, and as things stand, we lead. But La La is able to bag them a goal. I asked my goalkeeper to dive and he just does that. So I am very gutted about that. 
And if we were to go on to lose by one goal, I would be very, very annoyed because I definitely wanted to save that. Jonathan Hogg got himself sent off. Oh no, it's Richard Q. Well, I think it was Jonathan Hogg. I do apologise, Hogg. Don't like the surname. It's quite realistic, to be honest. And we can see Lee here with his second one. Only two minutes later, Huddersfield just didn't learn. And then we take the shot, but the keeper, Schofield, again with another insanely good save. I mean, what a free kick. Both of them from Leahy were pinpoint accuracy. But Schofield, the one with the save. But we weren't able to keep out their free kick. La La to grab his hat trick. Hits it over the wall. You can see Day, who was definitely in goal for this one. Probably should have reached it. Because if he stuck his arm out, he'd have definitely got there. But it was a quality finish. And it was 3-2 to Huddersfield. I kind of expected that. But to concede a free kick in the 85th minute like that, which the keeper probably could have saved, it does make it slightly worse. And I'd have much preferred a replay. But we grab our second signing of Enriquez Ramon from um, Almeria, I believe. No, from Malaga. He's the one from Malaga. Signing from Malaga. But... I mean, look at that from Leahy. He tries what he tried against Huddersfield, and it is perfect. It doesn't go over the wall, it goes to the keeper's side, but look at that free kick. That is absolute class from Leahy. And as I said, look out for him. That's why I believe he's the one on the thumbnail. But Ramon is able to grab himself a goal on his debut, which is great, from the Malaga switch. As no one's on him. I don't know why the keeper came out. And it was just a really nice easy chip. But please can you tell me if that's like a gameplay glitch. Or if you just hold up for so long you can just chip the goalkeeper like that. Because he was literally in no man's land. He had defenders behind him. He had midfielders behind him. He might have even had attackers behind him. And he's meant to be the one on his line really when I'm there. Maybe come out a little bit but not that much. Fleetwood were able to grab themselves a goal. Mulgrew the one with it. Guess what it was? It was a free kick. <laughs> Very close to the penalty spot, but it's a great free kick to be fair to Mulgrew. It's gone over the over the wall. It's curling slightly and there's no chance for Jacola to get there. And Fleetwood make it 2-1. Not what I was hoping for. I wanted it to stay as a clean sheet, but we can see Leahy has another chance to score. You can see it's very tense trying to pick the right spot. And what a save onto the crossbar. But we are able to grab ourselves. A goal again with Westbrook bagging it. Penenka's it down the middle from the penalty spot. We've had lots of set pieces. I mean, it's kind of dodgy. But we just Penenka it. Keeper dives out the way. He does what we wanted him to do. And it's a very nice and easy goal. I played a lot of games and I had lots of signings. Well, I had two signings. That was scripting. I mean, look at that scripting when he just gets past the defender like that. I mean, I'm literally spamming the circle button. I go for the side tackle with Eman. But none, none of it happens and Fleetwood make it 3-2. Something that I was not happy with. And guess who scored it? It was obviously Mulgrew. Bags his brace. And look, they were able to get a, another goal. Another goal. So they were now level 3-3. Three, three. And this was a game I was expecting to win. And it was a free kick, you guessed it. But this probably is the best free kick of the day. Or from the AI. Mulgrew's free kick was obviously class. But outside of the left pure curling top corner, you can't save those. It was a very, very classy goal. And the keeper's done it again. It must just be Fleetwood because he's come out. I can see it just testing it out, waiting. I see him. And Sepulveda chips the goalkeeper from distance. It's a sensational goal, to be honest. And that made it 4-3. Sepulveda's first goal. You can see I jumped to the sim. And we get the 4-3 three, three win. Echma. Getting himself sent off as well. And I do have handballs turned on. That's how we got two penalties. Because we got two handballs from Fleetwood. Which was very kind of them. 
and we have this next game against Wimbledon, which is where I believe I will call it a day after these highlights. But we managed to score, and it's Westbrook popping it into the top corner from the spot. Another handball. I might have to turn them off because they're very OP. If you just finesse it into a group of people. Because look, we've got another penalty from another handball. So you can see it's not showing um, foul. It shows ha it doesn't show handball um, highlights. But it's a very nice chip. Walker dives out the way. And that's two Penenkas we've scored. The first one obviously being better. Because this wasn't the best Penenka I've seen. It, it just wasn't very classic. But we would have won anyway if it wasn't through the handballs, as it's played through to Hanlon, who when the keeper comes out just chips in. And I thought that it was cleared off the line when I was playing, and I was like, oh no, it's one of those goal decision system, it's going to be disallowed. But you can see from this angle that Hanlon's shot definitely goes in, because it's gone about halfway in, and you can see as he's cleared it, his foot is actually in the goal. But Joe Pickett actually scores from this free kick, of course. Of course it's a free kick. What else would it be? I mean, you can't say those either. I must say, these free kicks have been absolute class. Joe Piggott. Over, off the post. It's literally a loohy. They have to tie each other. Because they're just identical. They're identical. <clears throat> but, we get a 3-1 win over Wimbledon. And even though it was two handball penalties... It's two handball penalties. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.